652, time for the morning sprint. We now know the name of the 15-year-old girl hit and killed in a devastating shooting on Madison's east side. It happened at the Harmony at Grandview Commons Apartments on the corner of Milwaukee Street and Milky Way. Police say a group of gunmen pulled up in a vehicle, got out, and started shooting. Four teenagers were hit. A 15-year-old girl later died in the hospital. Her family has identified her as Kaisha Miller. Three others were treated and one is still in the hospital. Police say a man crashed his car into the front door of the Ace Hardware in Middleton and then hit a pedestrian. This all started around 720 last night. Officers put out some spike strips around the crashed vehicle. But then the man drove off and hit a pedestrian near Allen Boulevard and University. Police say the man was taken to a hospital for evaluation. The pedestrian suffered minor injuries. Representative Steve Scalise is the Republican nominee for House Speaker. In a secret ballot vote, Scalise garnered 113 votes against Representative Jim Jordan's 99. For Scalise to become Speaker, though, he's going to need 217 votes, a majority of the entire House. Republicans hold two seats more than that. A floor vote has not yet been scheduled. A second former state Supreme Court justice is advising against impeaching Justice Janet Protasiewicz. Uh, former... Justice John Wilcox told the Associated Press there's nothing to justify impeaching the newly elected justice. Earlier this week, David Prosser, another former justice, also advised against impeachment. A well-known conservative speaker will be making a stop at UW-Madison next month. Ben Shapiro is holding a conversation hosted by the Young Americans for Freedom in Shannon Howell on campus on November 6. Tickets are free. The political pundit has been to UW before. He last visited in 2016. Back then, the university put out a statement saying it worked to ensure the event would provide a forum for both the speaker and those who disagree with him. UW has not yet commented on this latest scheduled visit. The deadline to lose federal funding for daycares is months away. That money is set to run out in January when estimates put increases of daycare costs from 10 to 40 percent. There are some solutions uh, on the table from both sides of the aisle at the state capitol. Coming up tonight at 10, Leah is going to break down those proposed solutions in a special report. Edgewood High School being honored for its students' performance on advanced placement exams. The new AP School Honor Roll highlights schools whose AP classes go above and beyond for prepping students for college. Edgewood received a silver award with 81% of seniors taking at least one AP exam, 59% scoring a three or better. Someone won the Powerball last night. A uh, lucky player in California won that $1.7 billion jackpot. This ends the long stretch without a winner for the top prize. The drawing marks the first time in Powerball history that three back-to-back -back jackpots have reached the billion-dollar mark. All right, five minutes away from 7 o'clock. We've already got some drizzle here in the Madison area, but the broad area of rain is down to the south, uh, especially in Grant County, moving through Lafayette County, Cuba City, headed toward Darlington, Potosi, Platteville. Some of that rain moving your way. Already damp this morning with some drizzle. Here are our sky cam from Platteville looking at that wet conditions. Just going to be dreary today with on and off showers throughout the afternoon hours. Here we go to later this afternoon. The warm front should push to our north, so that'll take the rain mainly up to the north of Madison from the Dells over there toward Juneau. A little bit of a break early this evening, but then we'll look at more rain moving in overnight tonight. So it's just going to be damp over the next couple of days. You can see the dreary conditions from our sky cam here in Madison. On and off showers, uh, especially this afternoon. An alert day for some heavy rain tomorrow. Should be tapering off by Saturday afternoon. All right, Kelly, thank you. Keep it here, folks, for all the details on that alert day.